And I'm just here to tell you today, God sees your pain and your affliction and he sees the very thing that has touched you and scorched you. And God says, I'm there. I come in the midst of your confusion, into the midst of the insanity of your lives, into the midst of broken and blended relationships. I come right in the midst. I am your God. And God says, I accept you just the way that you are with all of the baggage, all of the carnage in your life, the scars from things that have been amputated from your life. I'm there with you. In the, I come in the midst of your pain. And I am God. Father, we stretch our hands to you. No other help we know, God. If you withdraw yourself from me, God, where, 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 God, can we go? You are our strength, God, this day. You're our peace. You're our victory. You're our healing balm, God, and we have no way to go but the way in which you carry us. Father, we ask you to fill us with the very substance of who you are. Because at points we have been wounded. We know that you filled us before, God, but we've been like a cistern that can hold no water. And we've been hemorrhaging. We've been leaking out the very thing that you placed on the inside of us. And God, sometimes you've given us so much to be able to encourage and strengthen others, God, now. But we look to you for strength for this vessel. We say, God, help us. God, help us. God, help us and fill us with the fullness of who you are, God. Fill us with the fullness of who you are. With the water of your word, God, and let that water regulate, God, the temperatures of things that come around us that try to begin to change who we are, God, and help us to be able to hold what you've given us to hold. We speak in the name of Jesus even concerning our seed and our destiny to say that our children shall live for God, that great shall be the peace and the composure of our children, and they shall be taught of the Lord. We decree, God, in the name of Jesus, that grandchildren, God, wayward children, sons and daughters, God, will come back home, that their hearts will be turned unto you, God, that you will break their hearts, God, with the things that break yours, God, and that you will cause full-fledged restoration, restoration, God. To to come once again God we trust you to be able to do what we cannot do we need you Jesus in this very hour we need you Lord Lord we need you we need you we need you to fill us with all that you are your presence and that the water of the Spirit might be so abundant in us that every time, God, that we are wounded out of our bellies shall flow the rivers of the living waters, God. Make every wound in our life become an exit point for which those waters which are locked in our bellies, in our spirits, dear God, begin to flow out and touch others. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll use us for dry, barren ground, God. Just touch us, pierce us from time to time, God, and let that water flow out of us and begin to bring healing to everybody round about us, God, every person that we meet. God, I pray that you will make us whole, that you'll let your water fill us, God, that you'll let us cover us. And Father, the very thing that you have begun in us this day, may you perform it unto the coming of the Lord Jesus and God after the waters have raged for a season may your voice speak in power and authority and say peace be still peace be still peace like a river be still over in our souls God today when doubt is raging in us God peace be still when natures and characters manifest that are unlike you peace be still when frustration fills us peace be still when we cannot see our way Lord and we don't know how ends are gonna be made peace be still when we've talked and our discipline has not come in the lives of others to whom we have authority peace be still when we are wrestling in the night we get into a restful bed and yet we are restless peace
be still. When our bodies begin to rack with pain and rage within us, announcing that something is wrong, peace, be still in the name of Jesus. And for it, we will give you the glory and the honor and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.